we are back with our with the part two of Kendo Crush. We yeah. just previously finished with uh, Miss Teacher uh, walking away in a quite a, a sad mood of some sort. Yeah, something I, like I that. guess. Um, We're trying to be. She dickheads. was offering her help to to be. I mean, I did say thanks, but yeah, well, I guess uh, whatever. We don't she care. Just, she just does her. You know what I mean? So um, <laughs> you do you, Teacher. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, yeah. Let's, let's carry, carry on. on from here. It's the most imagination wonders. So he's blushing, so we can probably tell he's thinking about them, them titties. Get a bang. I'm pretty hot. I'm pretty hot. <laughs> Someone's hungry. No lunch, right? Well, guess I better head to the cafeteria. Oi! Oi! It's me stops in his tracks. The boy tears around the corner, almost slamming right into him. There's a hint of a mischievous grin playing about the boy's mouth. As he examines Izumi like an alien specimen beneath a microscope. Aha! It is you! You're the guy that beat Ken up! That's right. Um. Uh. <laughs> <I'm fucking laughs> Izumi Madison walks away from the boy. Hey! Wait up! I just wanna talk! I have a boyfriend already! <laughs> yeah, you got wall clothes. <laughs> Izumi stumps short. Almost causing the boy to crash into him from behind. Hey, okay. You already know about me, don't you? Unfortunately, Izumi's penetrating dread doesn't appear to de deter the boy in the slightest. Yep, Is you're the okay? legendary slayer of the Highness Kenta! Yo. Things did not end well the last time someone tried to talk to me. Oh. Somehow the boy doesn't seem very phased. Whoa, I'm not looking for a fight, man. Damn. This is raises a single eyebrow. Then? Like I said, I just want to talk. That's it. Honest. Too much in the past. The student beams. It's a smile of sunshine and rainbows and bees. <laughs> what? Oh, it's so much painful to look at. Ah, pardonnez-moi. I haven't introduced myself yet, have I? No, you haven't. He plows, he plows on before Izumi can answer. Does anyone wait for a reply at this school? No. The name's Jeff Sho Lee. Shinjiro. He thrusts out a hand, an oddly non-Japanese jester, who probably knows that Izumi is American. Just where exactly is he finding all this information? Yeah. This there, Izumi this really puts a shell with a blank stare. Shell stands there for a few seconds, silently holding out his hand. And Izumi makes no move to take it, shadow of draws and smooths it over his uniform. Well, I can see that you're a real people person. Yeah, I have, <laughs> I have so many friends. <laughs> Despite his mumbled friends, he's still smiling. Well, you said you wanted to talk. What about? Mm -hmm. Oh, right! Well, I thought I'd tell you about the school policy thing. You see... Everyone's required to join the club. I know. You do? Oh, you do! He's gonna ask him to join his club. Yep. Thought of doing kendo before? We could use a man with your caliber of skills. Yep. Yep. Kendo, huh? Yep! It's like the best thing ever! You get to run around hitting people with swords! Sorry. <laughs> the school allows that. Well, they allow Ken Takeo to run around hazing freshmen. Besides, the school approved it. So what do you say? What Um... Oh my god, Ken did you know? Shout face force. Are you sure? The first Jeez. time. Jeez. This is shoots him a dour, a dour glare, but the show keeps talking. Well, if you ever want to give it a try, just swing by the school dojo. We're there Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays after school, so... An awkward silence for a mid-tate. I think it's the hallway. It says more than words ever could. Really not interested? Alright. Oh, so sad. He spins around and heads out, hands in his pockets. Might as well go get some food. Swear our lunch break's over. <laughs> uh, June, there you are. Yuna? The meeting's tomorrow, not today. I know. I wanted to talk with you before you announced the new club policy. Ah, I thought you might. June, I just... I really don't know about this. Shouldn't we be more fair about distributing the resources? If we do this, then we're only helping the clubs that are already thriving. That was kind of my point, you know. He reminds me of that guy from Bleach. What's his name? The Queen's what? Ishida. Is that the Queen's name? Yeah. yeah. Who do you think about it? Well, come on, that hair, glasses. 
bin erpascht, also. Well, I just. Is this Übel about the Kendo Club? Uh, common. <laughs> Yuna, look. The Karate Club has Get five times the members of the Kendo Club. <laughs> and they're still growing. They've won how many championships by now? Ten? Fifteen? June. They're the favorites for this year's championship, next year's championship, and judging by the skills of the incoming first years, the championship after that. Meanwhile, the Kendo Club, have they ever won a championship? Ever? Well, they won't if you chuck their shit. Well, no, but... I'm sorry, Yuna. The decision is final. I disagree. And where will they practice if we don't let them use the dojo? They can still use the dojo when the karate club's not using it. Oh, that'll work out then. The karate club meets on Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Saturdays, right? Well, actually, Hito just requested additional practice times on Wednesdays and Fridays. What? He says that the club is bursting at the seams. They need to start altering people's schedules on different days because they don't have space for everyone to practice at the same time. That means that the Kendall Club will only be able to meet on Mondays. Unfortunately, yes. But I like, think who it's is this guy? Who does he think he is making these rules? <laughs> he's just meant to be like some kind of what? Student council president. Yeah, and he's like fucking said who can go where, what times. Fuck this guy. You've seen okay, we, we close on him. We can't get fancy about the Kendall Club. Minimum requirements yet. by a thread. It's too soon. <laughs> They've got five members! He's standing there with his hand on his chin like he's fucking trying that to... That is the minimum requirement. Maybe. I... I don't really know, June. This just doesn't feel right. I'm sorry, Yuna. An uncomfortable silence falls over the two. Finally, Yuna stands to her feet, slinging her bag over her shoulder. Hey, Yuna. Hmm? I heard that you got yourself a delinquent in 2A. Ah, uh, yes. The Ken Slayer, was it? Yeah. He causes quite a bit of commotion, that's for sure. I still can't figure out how he ended small. up in 2A. He doesn't even do anything, he just walks around and gives us stories. Well, to be fair, we backed the shit well, out of the Well, I believe I've taken enough of here. your time. Awesome. I'd best be heading back. Have a good day, June. Thank you. Wait. You know. No, I do not want to date you. Hmm? Spoilers, fam. Do we you, haven't got there yet. Do you have an answer yet? That's what. I mean, anyone can tell by what you're saying right now. <laughs> that's what it's fucking leading to. For what? You know what I'm talking yeah. about. I want that pink side. PG. Yeah, I think it's too late taking it right down. <laughs> She's just left and bought it out. See ya. Oh, that sucked. Soccer club, rejected. Tennis club, rejected. Badminton club, rejected. <laughs> Woodworking club, book club, language club, rejected, rejected, rejected. Heck, even the knitting club wouldn't accept him. He hadn't realised getting in, in a fight with another student would, would have blacklisted Dude, him from every club in existence. Last time we didn't even try for any clubs. And now this time he's tried for all of them. Yeah, look at him going around. There are two clubs he hasn't tried to, the karate club and the kendo club. Let's go karate club. <laughs> Neither seem like a particularly good option given that he already has a fog reputation. But if club participation is mandatory, what choice does he have? Sh Shao did already invite him to the kendo club, so maybe he should take up that offer. Either way, it wouldn't hurt to visit, but it would just be that a visit. If Shao tried to make him join, Izumi wheels around and locks his fingers behind his head, then heads down from the roof. If Izakazi Isokaze. Isokaze. Come on, man. Hi, it's not anything. It's probably their school dojo. The dojo is the pride and joy of the campus and shows beautiful hard wood floors, pristinely maintained, and walls, and walls filled with victorious banners. Yeah, and they all say cross. <laughs> yeah, there's no kendo. There. <laughs> One, two, you Oh, boy, the crew is. Doing? It's Bay. Bay's return. Oh, not with Jodon. <laughs> and the traitor. In the centre of the room, an intense training session appears to be shaping up. A slender girl with fire red hair scrunched up in the ponytail. She's clearly instructing the other member. <laughs> Your cop, G-Man, is getting too predictable. Oi! Cowdery! 
Hi. The girl stops in her tracks as she retracts her shin shinai. Shinai. So? <laughs> Yo! It rhymes. Wait, why do you sound so surprised? You're half an hour early. <laughs> Compared to your usual time, that is. Hey! If you want someone to practice with, wait until Mayu ends her bout with Daiki. I'm in the middle of tutoring oh, Yoshiro. Yeah. She starts to turn back, but Sharp grabs her by the shoulder. Ooh. Wait! I think I found someone that'll be a great addition to the Kendo Club! I said no! You've probably heard of him by now. The legendary Ken Sli- Just stop talking, show. <laughs> she shakes her shoulder's hand. Whoa, Gallery! Good music. You think I want to hear about getting new people right now? Wants to do with the dojo? Huh? Oh, the rumors? Nah, that's not gonna happen. That's interesting, because I definitely heard the proposal is going through tomorrow. What? But if that happens, then we'll only be able to meet on Mondays. Why would they even agree to this? Because of some crap about providing the karate club with some ample opportunity to expand. I swear, the school's a joke. <laughs> what is this, a popularity contest? Yeah, about deeper. time. Fucking hell. There's a pause, then she opens her eyes, looking straight at the show. If you want to discuss something important, you should probably wait until tomorrow. I just need some time to think. Sorry, Sorry. Really, she could be secure about something. There's nothing we can do about it. It looks like they made up their mind. Hey, here we are. You! What are you doing here? Jesus Christ. I just threw them out of Actually, I'm the one who told him the about us. Well, well, you see, I didn't know about... Um, well, uh... You see, the thing is, um... Well, I... Guys, back crap scared. S sorry, Kauri. Hey. So this is the delinquent everyone's talking about. Yeah! You should have seen him fight, yeah, it was amazing! If he joins the Kendo Club, cool. we'll be... Forget it. Friends. Let me in, please! W what? But... We'll go to the but... Karate Club. Screw him. I've seen his type before. Stuff. Blockheads that run around... I didn't pick a fight! No particular reason. He came on to me! Morons yeah, that look for any <laughs> yeah, opportunity to be violent. Yeah, you got destroyed. You me a moron. We don't need someone like that in our club. You do. And that's wrong. Especially someone with the blackness <laughs> if you're joining You don't want to criticize. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, bottom. Bottom. Yeah, we've not said that. Well, good. Because I'm not joining your club. Damn right. No, you're not. Oh, okay. No, I'm not. Especially because I don't see why anyone would want to join it in the yeah. first place. Why join this? You can join the karate club. Let's just out. say it's not a mystery why there's a lack oh, of Oh, get destroyed. <laughs> get out! <sighs> Stay mad. It's me turn to sweeps at the dojo. After the dojo. Wait! <coughs> uh, see you later, Gallery? Sorry, he's gonna chase us. So much. He's gonna chase us, watch. Shout out for those of his heels. Oh, she's regret at actions. No, she ain't. <laughs> She doesn't really have a heart. Oi! <laughs> Fancy school one. Izumi stops short, turning to his face and swing to a So, uh, that probably could have gone better. Yeah? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that wasn't exactly the nicest way to handle it. We're not nice. Well, she didn't exactly welcome yeah, him with open arms like, either. Yeah, she's just like, fucking shouting at me all the time. <laughs> we don't even know yes. her. Yes, why should we shout at him? that hostile, though. We just kind of caught her in a bad yeah. time. Yeah, I see that. Yeah, <laughs> bad time. She <laughs> raises an eyebrow, clearly unimpressed. Shout out to plows, plows ahead. See, the Kendo Club isn't really popular. Since we don't oh, have a lot of members, and the everyone. other clubs do, the student council kind of kicked us out of the dojo. Hmm. Ah. Basically, we're limited to practicing on Mondays. Otherwise, we're hogging space, you know? I don't presume that Kaori took that too well. Well, the scary part is, we probably weren't around when she was the angriest. 
Charlotte's out with small shadow. Look, she'll probably be in a much better mood tomorrow. Think you can give it another shot if she changes her mind? Three, two, one, two. Show us Maybe. Nice but no promises. Good enough for me. Well, I'd better head back to the Kendo Club. Today's the only time this week we'll be able to meet. He gives a half-hearted wave before racing back to school. Izumi turns around and begins to trudge down the path that leads to home. Hello? Nikki! How did I get here? <laughs> oh, I, I you, mean, you, you walk. Yeah, yeah, I mean, you kind of <laughs> move around yourself. I think he fell asleep on the bench. Who does that? It's Japan, man. Nothing happens. <laughs> right. There's no crime there. He stopped to rest the well. thing, apparently accomplishing more of the former than the latter. How was your day at school? It was great! I fucking had Duke in some guy. There's a hesitation before these answers. I'm doing alright. Yeah, really? we're alright. <laughs> she seems to notice that Izumi isn't in much of a, of a talking mood. Well, in that case, why don't we celebrate? Surviving our first day at our new we didn't school. Want to survive. Let's get ramen! Celebrate? Yeah! Well, that and thank Uncle Kaito for having us. We could cook dinner tonight. There's a supermarket on the way home. She looks so excited about the prospect of cooking with him. Izumi doesn't think he can deny her. What do you think we should make? Alright, we're making spaghetti this time. I could yeah. really go for some spaghetti right now. Spaghetti? Sounds great! Oh wow! Quick, Before she was in Roman so we'll have everything yeah. ready by the time Uncle Kaido is home. She grabs the meat by the elbow and drags him away to the supermarket. When they finally arrive home, Izumi finds that he's already exhausted. <laughs> How on earth can anyone find shopping a pleasure war activity? Hey, get off the sofa. We just got the ingredients. We can't slack off now. <laughs> Where the hell does he come from? Teleportation of Jutsu. <laughs> She digs through the cupboards until she finds a large pot. After filling it up with water, she sets it on the stove. We're making spaghetti, right? Um, oh, don't ask me this. How long do we cook the pasta? Oh my oh, god. Man, you, you did rice. Oh, okay. <laughs> how long do you want? Fuck it. Look, he beams in the light. Well, she's gonna well, mess it up. Noodles a little soft. I like when ramen She'll noodles are a little soft. Spaghetti so, a little ramen soft? Ramen spaghetti. What? <laughs> she sets a timer for 25. 25! That takes care of the noodles. Oh, There's gonna be people in the comments where these crops. It's 24. How many tomatoes should we have for the sauce? We already have some tomato paste and That's tomato so sauce. Boiling. It's not 25, it's like 12 minutes. Um. No cans! <laughs> as many cans as, as you many can! As many cans as you can! Mickey <laughs> <laughs> spells out of the house. Well, the more the merrier. Oh, I actually to make this taste nice, but slowly over time, I want this to taste horrible now. <laughs> okay, look, first time we made Kyle happy with our food, we're gonna completely mess it up yeah. this time. Yeah. She probably re reaches into the grocery bag and dumps ten, ten? cans oh of God. tomatoes into the sauce pot. She made them enough for like those. three days. Jeez. Fucking hell. She probably reaches into the grocery. Okay, yeah, just a bit. Why did she flows. even buy ten? Cans? Why did she even buy ten cans of tomatoes? Okay. Good. Good. <laughs> what seasonings should oh, we add to this? This is gonna be a horrible option to watch. Fish flakes. Um. Anything so you want. Soap, powder, brown, brown sugar. Like, so just anything you want. Just let her do everything. And yeah, she anything wants. she wants. You, you go for it. You do you. <laughs> you catch her hands together in excitement. You Man, she's just so happy. Vanilla. Oh, and vanilla. Frosting. Fro this is a cake, bitch. <laughs> What is she doing? <laughs> Bitches love cake, man. Dude, our sister's messed up. She doesn't seem to understand the disconnect between pasta and cake. Okay, everything is almost so... ready. Let's set the table for when Uncle Kaido comes home. Hey, lo at least Why we know how to make ramen. We just call it pasta. So, sorry, it's spaghetti. <laughs> Jesus. Okay, um... Should, well, should we, we might as well mess this up as we, well. Yeah, we might as well at this point. <laughs> We'll silver on the left, come on. We'll silver on the left. Left? Or? Yeah, go for it. Nikki sets the table as Izumi instructs. Uh, right as she finishes placing down the silverware, the front door door opens. Hi, Mom! Oh, He's gonna enjoy food this! Food. Wow! You guys cook dinner? You didn't have to do that. I don't mind just ordering out. 
we wanted to cook for you, Uncle Kaito. Think of this as our thanks for letting us stay with you. Oh, kid, I do it you any day of the week. <laughs> you don't need dinner to thank me. We know, but still. Here, sit down. Eat while it's still hot. Uncle Kaito looks toward the feet. This me is tempted to plug his nose. Well, let's dig in. I can't wait to try Don't to tell me he's going to like it. He method. probably is. He's going to be nice, isn't it? <laughs> dot, dot, <laughs> dot. Dot, dot. <laughs> This is not even sure if the shit oh, is the edible. Oh my god, up. yes! Nikki watches as Kaito reluctantly takes a second bite. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, look at his face. Uh, just, uh... No, you guys did great for your first time. The flavor is very, uh... Unique and the texture is very good. This is what I myself. Very well, quite... come on, we put fucking frosting um... in spaghetti. <laughs> Uncle Kaito's face is taking this light green tint. Oh, Excuse shit. me for a second. Oh, He's gonna bath. Yeah. He gets up and races to the bathroom. Nikki watches him go, worried, tilt to her brow. She cautiously slurps up some of the noodles. Slurp. Oh my, my god. Days. I, we have a special one here. She looks at Izumi, I sparkle with hope. Oh shit. Go on, let's see. Let's, Don't fuck it, let's go. Here it yeah, goes. <laughs> Izumi jelly pinches a handful of noodles with his chopsticks and lifts them to his mouth. A terrible odor wafts through his nostrils. <laughs> He's dead. <laughs> <laughs> the rest of the night becomes a repressed memory of Izumi. Poor Izumi. Many trips to the bathroom later, is me finally manages to tie to oh his room. God. He spends a while sitting on the bed doing nothing. He figures he needs all the sleep he can get. But at the same time, he's not exactly looking forward to school tomorrow. Not only that, but he's practically being barred from joining every single club. He should try to talk to Miss Teacher tomorrow. Maybe she can convince the school to make an exception. Or maybe if he couldn't join a club, he should just start one himself. Not that anyone would join. Sure. Well, yeah. <laughs> if he wants to talk with Miss Teacher, he should get to the school early. Guess I'll have to set my alarm a half hour early. Izumi sets his alarm and switches off the lights, falling into bed. He expected to be awake for a while, thinking about his new school, new home, potential, new friends. But there was just too much excitement in one day to handle. Excitement. <laughs> in a couple of seconds, he's out like a light, a company, a com, a com, <sighs> accompanied to sleep by the whisper of a cool breeze, drift, drift, drift. Ding through his open window. What the fuck is happening to you? Right, right I, I can start reading from now. On. Yeah, do you know what you need to do? I want to fucking die. <clears throat> Izumi wakes up even before his alarm rings, refreshed and ready for the day ahead. <sighs> Nikki's still asleep, but Kaito's already gone. He's left another note apologizing about the lack of breakfast the previous day. I'm surprised he can eat. <laughs> Judging by how early he seems to leave, it makes sense that he doesn't usually eat breakfast. Izumi pops in two slices of toast as he gets ready for the upcoming day, hoping beyond hope that nothing out of the ordinary will happen. Of course it was us. <laughs> he grabs the toast the moment it's done and jogs out the door, crisp morning air splashing over his face all at once. Damn it, it splashes. <laughs> He's doing the anime bread thing. I can't do that. It doesn't take long before he arrives at the path before the shrine. <laughs> A sudden vibration pump prompts him to check his phone. <laughs> Yi-chan, where are you? <laughs> Silly cool, hey, Silly cool. <laughs> Oops, Izumi probably should have left a note, left Nikki a note or something. Yeah, just do the I did this, one. I did it before though. <laughs> it's be as chavvy as possible. That is just spasticated. <laughs> Izumi feels his intelligence lowering just by typing that text <laughs> message. See, this is why. Even we don't That's text like that. Yeah. What kind of Dude, our sister is so messed. Like, Loki. fair enough we let her make food, yeah? But who, who does what she did? Special child. Izumi slips his phone back in his pocket. God, she's so special. He continues down the path. Alright, someone's appearing, I guess. He stops in his tracks. That sound. I'm not, I'm not doing that. <laughs> well, you have to. No. You do it. You're the coy here. <laughs> Izumi twists his head, examining the trees. A flash of white fur catches his eyes. Eye. It's a little kitten, clinging to a flimsy tree branch with all its might. 
He doesn't have time for this. He needs to get to school in time to talk to Miss Michio. Meow, meow. Oh my god. <laughs> it's too pitiful to ignore. It's teasing, though. <laughs> he backtracks and begins scaling the tree. He briefly wondered what would happen if he got caught given his current reputation. Mm. A gangster and a thug climbing a tree to save a kitten. Ah. The kitten sinks his claw deep in Izumi's hand, forcing him to let go. Izumi shoots a piercing glare at the kitten. Wow, thanks. So it's not like I'm trying to save you or anything. He reaches once more to the kitten, but it shimmies away from his reach. I really want to do this the hard way. Izumi lunges lunges towards the kitten, barely taking a hold of oh, his Oh no, tail. someone's gonna catch her. It, what? Mules. Mules in protest? But it's now safely off the branch. C crack Rip. Suddenly the branch snaps in half. And he's down for the count. <laughs> Izby falls to the ground. Pin him. Mm -hmm. He clutched the kitten protectively in his chest as he fell. Is that an angel? No. Oh, you are. <laughs> Izumi struggles to focus through his hazy vision, ears ringing painfully. She, she looks, looks familiar. Hey, you okay? Isn't she the girl that I sat next to yesterday? Oh. Huh? Uh, take Let's her take hand, hand this time. time. Yeah. Yeah. Izumi reaches up and takes her hand. She pulls him to his feet. I could. Oh, <laughs> so, uh, but she's gonna. She's gonna probably say something nice. Yeah. She stares at Izumi for a couple moments, expression placid. I see. I'm sure you could. Yeah. Walks. The kitten that Izumi saved pads over to the pair and twines around his ankles. Yuna's face melts into an affectionate smile. Aww, hi there. You like kittens? You don't? No. Huh? I never said that. A face expression. Mm. Seemingly appeased, y Yuna turns her attention back to the kitten. The kitten rubs its face against Izumi's shin until he picks it up, cradling it in his arms. Purring, it snuggles against the crook of his arm. Funny. Why couldn't it have done that when Izumi was trying to save it? I admire what you did. She better. Mm. Going out of your way to save that little guy. Oh god. Oh. Yeah, it was no problem. I'm cool like that. Yuna examines Izumi, a thoughtful a thoughtful look on her face. Why are you looking at me like that? <laughs> this guy's so blunt. Uh? Oh hey. nothing. She wants the day. We're getting there. Well, to be honest, you don't seem like the type of guy to get into fights for no reason. And all it took was me to save a cat to prove that. Because yeah. I don't. Oh. Look, does it really matter what I say? Pretty sure everyone already sees me as a thug. And even if I say I'm not, would you believe me? I'm sorry. Not much happens around Isokaze, so... You might say everyone goes crazy over anything out of the ordinary. Well, if past experiences are anything to go by, the gossip should die down in a couple of weeks. Huh? The rumors won't be the hard part. Being blacklisted from every club is another story. Um, you're the transfer student, right? Hmm? Oh, yeah. And you're... Uh... Uh... <laughs> we picked that one last one, did, did No, we? I didn't pick this one. I picked that one. Well, I picked the bottom one. You picked this one, didn't you? I don't think so. You don't? 
I can't remember. Just pick it. Fuck it. <laughs> He's being savage. That's you know, from head to toe, a thoughtful look on his face. I'm so. Oh, is it? I'm so used to reading. Why are you looking right. at me like that? Eh? Oh, nothing. <laughs> hey. You know, shyly looks away. Deja vu. An awkward silence descends upon the pair. Ismi averts his attention. Ismi feels the kitten nozzle against his chin. Wait, what? How? Okay. It looks like he's quite fond of you. <laughs> I've been pretty popular lately. Though I really wouldn't call the attention I've been getting friendly. Hmm. Well, if anyone gives you any trouble, let me know. I can file a report for a warning. She got so strong, yeah. <laughs> I'm involved in the student council. Ismi is caught off guard for a second. Right, she'd mentioned something about it yesterday. Thanks, but I can handle it on my own. I mean, it's only been a few days, and I'm already one of the scariest guys at school. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> you know, giggles, her whole face lighting up. Hmm, speaking of school. Uh, sure, let's go it together. Looks like school's gonna start pretty soon. You know, Tilda has slightly an expectant gleam in her eyes. Yeah? I was thinking, why don't we go I to get something in my fuck. Oh shit. <laughs> That's cool. Hey, Yuna! Oh yeah, this is what happened. Yeah, cock blocked. Oh fuck. Oh, a group of girls cool. speeds down the main path, form swarming around Yuna with bright smiles. Uh, none of them spares me a single glance. Oh my gosh, you won't believe what I got in the mail yesterday after all this time. Oh, oh, and have you heard about this new boutique? It just opened and they have the cutest things. I totes have a discount too. Oh my Come God. on, you know, we have to go. Totes have a discount. <laughs> Their acting like Izumi isn't even there. By really? the way, have you heard about what happened to Mrs. Nakigawa? Of course not, duh. She was at the student council yesterday. Oh, right. Okay, so word on the street is... So American. They link their arms with Yuna, pulling her away from Izumi. She glances back. They link their arms with Yuna. Oh, okay. You read that, yeah. Her mouth <laughs> tilting into an apologetic smile. See you later. The question is so soft that it's barely audible, almost drowned out by the incent. Incent? Incessant. Incessant chatter. chatter of her friends. Izumi looks on as she whisks away by her friends. School, right. He sets down the kitten, kitten on the ground and looks up at Izmi for a moment before retreating to the bench. The boss is coming. You don't look so happy. Well, the boss is coming. This is so happy, but we're going to have to end this episode here because uh, we don't want to make it go too long. So this was part two. I hope you guys enjoyed it. We'll carry on to part three in the next episode. Thanks for All watching right. this long and uh, see you guys then.